Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video I'm going to talk about high availability, which is a very, very important and vast topic, big concept, in uh, wherever you can imagine, I mean in business, in networking, in science, specifically we're going to talk about networking, and it is something that uh, generally will be achieved through redundancy. Imagine a situation that you're working at a company, maybe as the administrator of the system, and you're on a vacation or maybe you're at home and the system is done. They will call you to solve the problem. And as the system is done, you cannot do anything remotely. You should go there in person, sometimes ASAP. So this is the place that redundancy is shining, high availability is shining. Just take a look at this part of the diagram. This is the first situation that um, imagine a big network, there's a big network here and all of them are connected, maybe lots of routers, computers, I don't know, servers, via this switch towards the main router and finally toward the main server, which we can consider that as internet here. And when this router is done, maybe just by, uh, I don't know, losing some physical connection whatsoever, the service will be done totally. But at this part, so we're not going to think of this one, at this part, if this one is done, there is another route for that to achieve the service. So let's save some words, go to the GNS tree and uh, see the concept. Good, we are here. Uh, in order to save the time, I set up the network previously and all of them are connected to each other via ERGRP routing, so this is the PC1 with this IP address, and this is router1, this is the main router, and this is the other router. So let's do the thing that I'm talking about that. This is the router1, in order to, you believe me, to show on, and I will show you. Router ERGRP10, and this is the rest of the configurations, so good. And uh, now what should we do? Go to this interface and also this interface and doing the configurations. How? I'm gonna show you. To the interface FA00 and start the configuration. The first thing is a standby, it needs a number and also an IP address. This IP address will be a virtual IP address, not a real IP address. And it is the IP address that should be assigned here at this computer as the main gateway, as the gateway. So IP address 192.168.1.1, the first thing. And standby again one. It needs a priority. By default, this number is 100. But when we change that, it, uh, it means this router, it will uh, have the more, the highest i mean priority so i'm gonna use this number and it is finished let's go to the router 2 and to the interface fa00 uh, zero zero, and the standby one ip address should be the same so this is the ip address and it is enough now it is enough because uh, we can uh, type standby uh, one priority but by default it is 100 and here in R1 it is 150 so it is a higher and we it is okay we're not gonna do anything and now we have do show a standby to see oops sorry do show a standby see the active router is the local router and the standby router is the other router, look, 1.3. And also, there is a virtual MAC address. Look at this number. If you come here and do show a standby here, they are the same. Look, they are the same. Totally. And we can see here, the active router is the other router with this priority number. So now we should be able to ping five, 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 five. Things good. And then if we trace that, we'll see. Yes, it goes via this router to the end of the path. It goes via that. 
you can do uh, the ping dash t and do some sort of tweaks here so it is pinging it works everything is good come here and delete this connection and monitor the situation what will happen request timed out timed out and finally uh, it will find the other router as the active router as it happened how many pings one two three four five six and maybe it's about six seconds something like that but uh, the service is again up so if we trace the route we'll see it goes from here and if we come here we'll see there are some uh, logs here now the active router is the router 2 and this one is not it is in it it is not active no more because not connected so let's do the ping again and monitor something else uh, you are admin of the system you go out to work and you see the problem so you're gonna uh, make the connectivity again so connect this one to this interface and uh, what will happen what do you think of that what is your expectations uh, do sure standby active router is the other router I mean even though we connected the router uh, which has the highest priority it is a still look standby here yeah it is a still a standby so and this one is uh, active and if we trace the route it goes via the R2 what should we do if this router has the highest priority uh, it should be always active we go here at R1 and add another command here set standby one print we call it primption when we active the primption and again when we connect the router see the log this router is now active what will happen here there is no request timed out very good it is something that happened very fast and if we trace the route we'll see it goes again via this router so this is the concept of high availability it is a pretty important and this is the thing that we should bear that in mind we should think of that and uh, in all of the networks uh, it should be uh, it should be located uh, I wanted to make a short video on HSRP and I hope it was good I hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe the channel bye everyone